This is Dabu7. Here recently we were talking about MK Ultra, the effects of these different waves that they're using, and the level of hertz in which they're using them to affect people. They're doing this through monitors, VCRs, laptops, using gaming systems, the programs for all types of different things. They can even overlay this. I've talked about this in detail in the past, but I've had people asking me again if I could explain a little bit about and show some proof about what I'm talking about. Well, a little bit of the proof here is in this patent. This is US 6506148B2, where they state psychological effects have been observed in human subjects in response to the stimulation of the skin with weak electromagnetic fields that are pushed with certain frequencies near half a hertz or 2.4 hertz. And this is such to excite a sensory resonance. Now they're using computer monitors, TV tubes, and they're saying that when this pulses the image, it emits this pulsed electromagnetic field. And this is of sufficient amplitudes that can cause the effects that they're looking for. So you need to look no further if you're looking for solid concrete evidence and proof that the governments have a patent for this and they've been doing this and they admit that yes, this stuff affects humans. The energy field around you. This is also hitting the subliminal. We talked about the sigils, the little things they hide that flash on the screen quicker than you could even blink. You're taking all this in Many people not even realizing it. Not only are you taking in the images, but also depending on how the game, the movie, the show, or whatever it is, is set up, it could be flashing something at you. And I've heard people tell me that when they've finished playing a certain gaming system, that they could close their eyes and see nothing but flashes. Well, that would, that would make sense knowing what we know here. And it also makes sense in terms of affecting people, period, with depression, triggering people, dropping triggers, uh, awakening sleeper cells. I mean, you name it. Many different things can go on when you can affect the way people think, they act, shift their mood, hitting, hitting them with these frequencies. So it's very real. Now, recently I've talked about adding to this the Wi-Fi. They are using Wi-Fi to see throughout a home. They also used drones here recently to go around a building, a brick building that they had no clue what was inside of it, but they mapped it. And they were able to tell what was inside. Now, they can do the same thing with your laptop, your router, all the devices within your home. They can use that to map the inside. So... Those waves are passing through and around things, bouncing off of everything, even you. So in this electronic atmosphere that we live in these days, we definitely have a whole lot going on in the air around you that people cannot see. And this is affecting people more than what people even realize. Now, some of you know, we've talked about the technology that they have set up in certain cities to do just this, to affect people. And those little gadgets, those little boxes on the side of the road or on the highway overpass or in the middle of the city, just sitting there that look really weird and you're not sure what they are, well, they're doing something. And chances are they're tied in to all this other stuff that they're doing. And if it's not emitting something, it's probably monitoring, trying to take in. But I just wanted to let it be known. I'm going to leave a link here so people can read into the patent. And you can see that ever since 2001, that just this has been implemented. There's no telling what else they've got added to this. I mean, if you just kind of use, use your imagination and, and think along the lines of everything that you know that they've been doing, then yeah, you could classify some of this stuff as, as a weapon. Truly. But I will leave a link and continue to update with more as I come across it. It's been Dabu7.